Okay, good morning, welcome to you. Um, Monster Math 24. <coughs> Monster Math 24. So this is a um, challenge problem from your weekend um, math program. Uh, and it says you have an 8x8x8 eight by eight by eight cube, and then you paint it all red, let's say. The whole outside of the cube. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you chop it up into 1x1x1 one by one by one cubes. And the question is, how many cubes have um, zero faces, red, one face red, two face red, three face red, etc. Alright. Alright, so that's an interesting question. Well, there's going to be none with six faces red, five faces red, or four faces red. Okay, why is that? Because that's not, it's just technically not possible. The most you can get for red faces is the corners, which have three. Okay. So, and there's eight with three. Okay. Um, with zero, that's a pretty easy one. It's the six by six square, or six by six by six cube, that's inside of this eight by eight by eight cube. All right. So that would be two hundred and sixteen. Okay. Um, one also would have two hundred and sixteen because. It's six six by six squares that are on each face. Alright. Um two. That's the edges. So you'd have six six per edge times twelve edges. So seventy two. Okay. And I'm not sure if they wanted the total, the total, or just these, like this. Well, what's what's a way that if, that you can check at least if your answer is possibly right? Well, if it adds up to five twelve. Okay. Yeah, that'll at least check that you've counted. It won't tell you that you've done the distribution correctly necessarily for for sure. It's it would but, tell me if we are missing anything. Yeah. Or. You know, if it, if it adds up to like 700, I'll tell you that you've overcounted somehow. So, well, 8 plus 72, that's 80. Plus 432. 512. Okay. So that, indeed, that, that at least gives you some, some confidence that, that you've got this right. Um, for a uh, project this weekend, we're going to do the exact same question, but with a four-dimensional cube. Hmm. What do you think changes? You can probably have, on a four-dimensional cube, you're going to have the intersection of four cubes. Like, one point is going to be on four different cubes. Uh, okay. So you could have stuff with four. You could have stuff with four, so that's one thing that would change. Um, there's more. There's going to be more cubes, yeah, so there'll be eight. Uh, to the to the fourth, so it's going to add up to a much bigger number. What changes about the paint? Well, that it's hard to even visualize how you paint that. It's four dimensional paint. Well, no, on a cube, the the it was two dimensional paint. So it would be three dimensional paint. Yeah, it'd be three dimensional paint. It's <laughs> kind of it makes it kind of fun to think about, but I think we'll be able to answer it. But it's not super obvious, sort of, what we do. But maybe we'll, hopefully we'll be able to make sense of it. Anyway.